When a couple began renovating their home, they decided to add a swimming pool to the yard. The pool was finished just as the summer heat became unbearable, and it felt like the perfect addition at the perfect time. So when a neighbor asked if the neighborhood kids could use their pool, the couple gladly agreed. They felt lucky to have it, and with the intense heat, were happy to share it with others. But what started as a generous gesture would soon turn into something they deeply regretted. When Chris and Grace bought their house, they wanted to make changes to make it feel like their own. They saved up for a long time, and when they finally had enough money, they decided to start by adding a swimming pool in their yard. They imagined the pool would be a great way to relax in the evenings or cool off on hot afternoons, but they never expected the pool would lead to so many issues. Chris and Grace loved kids even though they didn't have any yet. They had been hoping to start a family, but things just hadn't worked out for them. So when the pool was finished, they were still waiting for their own little one. One day, a neighbor stopped by and asked if the kids in the area could use the pool during the summer. Chris and Grace couldn't say no. They enjoyed having kids around and the neighborhood children seemed well behaved. Plus, their neighbors were friendly, so they thought there'd be no problem with letting the kids enjoy the pool. However, Chris had one rule that he insisted on no pets were allowed in the pool. He explained that the pool liner was in brittle condition and could easily break. It was a simple rule, and he believed everyone would be able to adhere to it. The neighbor agreed. The next day, several mothers came by with their kids, and they didn't bring any pets. The kids were well-behaved, playing quietly in the pool without making too much noise or splashing around. Chris and Grace loved seeing the children swim and play. It was like a preview of what their lives could be when they finally had kids of their own. They welcomed these visits from their neighbors wholeheartedly. However, a few days later, one of the mothers returned, this time begging Chris to allow dogs into the pool. She even brought one of her puppies with her, hoping to change Chris's mind. Chris explained once more that dogs weren't allowed in the pool because they could cause damage. He had nothing against dogs, but any damage to the pool would cost him a small fortune to repair. He thought she understood why he had such a rule, but she walked away with her dog, unable to convince Chris to change his mind about the one special rule. It almost broke Chris's heart to say no, but he had no choice. He and Grace had spent most of their savings on the pool. If anything happened to it, it would be another huge blow to their finances. He was relieved when the mother returned with just her kids. The summer heat was no joke and the neighborhood children had been using the pool often. They were well behaved and polite and Chris and Grace allowed them to play in the pool for as long as they wanted. On the other hand, opening their pool to the neighborhood helped them get to know some of their neighbors better. Grace loved mingling and chatting with the parents who came by with their kids, often bringing out snacks for everyone to enjoy. Everything was going well and the neighbors followed Chris's rule. Nobody brought their dogs when they visited the pool. Chris didn't mind the frequent visits as long as the rule was respected. The couple became quite popular in the neighborhood. Everyone greeted them when they went out for walks and even the kids called out their names as they passed by. However, the peace didn't last long. When Chris and Grace went out of town for a couple of days, they returned to a disastrous scene. They had left their backyard gate open so the children could continue using the pool, but when they came home, they were shocked by what they found. They asked around to figure out what had happened, but without any security cameras on their property, they had no idea who was at fault. Everyone they spoke to claimed they had no idea what happened and that the damage was already there when they used the pool. Chris noticed that the water level in the pool was significantly lower. He tried to refill it, but it wouldn't fill up properly. That was when he discovered a big tear on the side of the pool. Suddenly, everything became clear to him. What had happened? Someone had broken Chris's rule and he was very disappointed. The repairs were expensive and the whole neighborhood knew they had to close the pool for the repairs. Yet nobody bothered to help with the expenses or come forward with the truth. The entire neighborhood was eager to start using the pool again, but Chris wasn't pleased with the way his neighbors were behaving. Because of this, he made the difficult decision to stop the neighbors from accessing his pool. When the repairs were completed, some kids came over with a Labrador Retriever. Chris informed them that the pool was closed. The kids asked if they could leave their dog outside, but Chris still refused them access. He told them that nobody could use the pool anymore. The kids were angry about it, but Chris explained that he had allowed everyone to use his pool and had only one rule, which they broke. Therefore, nobody would get to use the pool even if they didn't have a dog with them. The kids must have told their parents when they got home, causing quite a stir in the neighborhood. When the neighbors heard that Chris was no longer allowing the kids to use the pool, they didn't take it lightly. The parents decided to talk to Grace, knowing she was most likely a cave-in. The barons decided to pay Grace a visit while Chris was away. When Chris came home, he found the neighbors in the middle of an argument with his wife. When he asked what was going on, the neighbors told him that he had hurt their children's feelings by not letting them use the pool. They demanded that Chris and Grace reopen their pool for the neighborhood kids. Chris couldn't believe it. 
Here they were doing a good deed by letting these people use their private property all summer, and now these neighbors were acting like they had a right to continue doing so. Their pool wasn't a community pool. Arguments erupted, one neighbor said Chris had no right to speak to their kids rudely, another said the kids had been looking forward to using the pool for a long time, and then someone threatened to take them to court. Chris decided to stand his ground. He reminded them that the pool was private property, not community property. Since it was private, they had the right to restrict access, and he was sure any court would side with him. Chris couldn't believe that they would treat him and Grace this way. They had been so kind to let the kids use their private pool countless times and even fed them snacks. They welcomed everyone onto their property with open arms. When they left town, they even left the back gate open so the kids could enjoy the pool. Chris and Grace thought they knew their neighbors well enough to trust them with their home. But they didn't expect to be repaid in this manner. Everyone knew the pool was damaged, and they knew Chris had to close it for a few days. But no one stepped up to explain what happened or offered to help cover the expensive repairs. For a moment, the neighbors fell silent as if they'd only just realized the pool was private property and that Chris could do what he wanted with it. The silence was tense, and it was clear they were still upset. Chris and Grace went back to their house, stunned by how their neighbors had confronted them like an angry crowd. Seeing their true colors, Chris felt even more certain that closing the pool was the right choice, though it might mean losing good relations with the neighborhood. To be safe, Chris decided to talk to a lawyer in case any neighbors acted out of spite. The lawyer agreed with his choice, pointing out that if a child got hurt in a pool, Chris would be responsible since it was on his property. Given how the neighbors had acted, Chris knew they might even take him to court if anything went wrong. In the end, Chris and Grace put up a taller fence and installed security cameras around their yard, not only to protect the pool, but also for their own peace of mind. Some neighbors laughed at them, thinking they were being selfish, but Chris and Grace didn't regret it. They had been generous with their neighbors, and it was disappointing that the neighbors hadn't respected their property.